looking at the best conditions and with best riders we can go 100 kilometers in one hour probably it's possible to do it in one to two years time frame every moving part has friction and we uh, are talking about air drag we are cutting the air with the shape of the vehicle so uh, what can be done we lower the, those two factors as much as we can and of course it's important that the rider feels good he is prepared well trained and he uh, knows he will be uh, respected for the achievements so his motivation can be as high as possible What's going on in cycling nowadays, I think there's two things. On the other end, people are downshifting, they are moving towards uh, basic bikes, more simple bikes. And on the other end, there is we pushing the limits with high-end cycling. Well, the sport lacks traditions, rules, regulations, uh, established things like events. And it can be really difficult to distinguish bike from one another, what's the best design, why the designs are so different from each other and what's fastest and why people choose so different designs. People always try to reinvent the wheel, they all seem to know the perfect recipe for the fastest possible bike and then they usually fail and I believe the only two guys who kept it going and pushed it further and then again achieved almost all there is to achieve. They are Francesco and Dan. Basically, there's two ways to go fast in cycling. First, you can combine the sport with science, which has this kind of negative cling to it, like pumping the performance, doping and stuff and all that stuff. And then what we do, we combine the sport with technology. And then again, we go much faster. So, in a way, it seems we are doing the right stuff. 